I understand you like to learn about Baghdad batteries. It's an ancient battery found around Baghdad. Ancient people didn't have access to fancy technology. What? You think they could observe electricity? Sure, the obvious effects of electricity were always present since the beginning of time. But it's not like people could generate electricity on demand. Sure, sure. So for as long as there have been fabric or wool rubbing against body or whatever, which is like forever, people have been able to generate electricity. But how could they know what they are generating is the same thing they are seeing in the sky? Okay, okay, so they look very similar. But building a battery requires a whole other level of knowledge. Would you like some lemon with your food? Ah! Fine, I guess building a battery doesn't require knowledge. All you need is to put two different conductors in an electrolyte, like lemon juice, vinegar, or salt water. People have been building it accidentally for ages. But it was an accidental battery. Back then, nobody knew it was a battery. See if you read the voltage between the terminals, you read like 0.4 volts. This is absolutely unuseful for anything ancient 2000 years ago. Yes, that battery generates electricity, but unless you put hundreds of these tiny garbage batteries in series and parallel to create enough energy, you can't do sh** with them. And they didn't even know electricity runs through metals. So far, all ancient people had seen was that rubbing wool or cotton on their body or whatever generates electricity. If it was me, I would think non-conductors are the best way to generate electricity and transfer it, not metals. Watch the full video on Electro Boom for the details on how batteries work and how this is not it.